But she is that a finger mark there? <laughs>
very shaly stuff. A bunch of tins here. All right. Oh yeah. I wonder if they might have washed in. There's the load, but there's nothing in it. Ah, yes, there it is. Yep. Beautiful colours. Flucking, flucking, and more flucking, isn't it? <laughs> It's clay, isn't it? Look at it. And there's quite a bit of gypsum. I can see glimmering uh, bit, gypsum it? on there as well. However, this mine did produce a lot of ore, so clearly this load is going to get better as we go further into the mine. We have something on the right here. Ah! Right. Know what that is? That's where they stored their dynamite. Absolutely. Oh, look. There's the door, the hinges for the door. There's the hinge. <laughs> and one of them is still, still attached to the post. They dug that especially. I reckon it's probably an old crosscut and they've just turned it into a little explosive right. store, I think, or something like that. But yeah, that's it. They would have had a padlock door. And then we can even see the remains of it. Only the foreman, uh, the underground foreman, would have had the key. To, uh, to go in there once every day and then assign the uh, portions of explosives, gunpowder, I'd imagine, to the groups of miners. It wouldn't have taken much to get in there, look. No, <laughs> you just climb over the wall. <laughs> Dog spike. Dog spike? Yeah. So there must have been rails in here. Yeah, there would have been rails in here. I think so. Some amazing formations in here. Flucken, is, uh, they used that term in, in south of England, didn't they? I think so, yeah. I think it's just clay slates, basically. Yeah. It forms in the load. There's been a false floor or something, or the thing Oh, yeah. Come down on. Oh, well, well. Got small workings going up there. Possibly. Hmm. Or it's a cross cut. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Still nothing amazing in the load, but it's all. It goes. Mm. Got a bit of ochre over here. This orange stuff. Here's it's the load. Yellow ochre. Nice pack wall here holding up the uh, the weight of the world above it. <laughs> The load, there's nothing in it. That oh, yeah. Have, that must have been heartbreaking. Yeah. Yet they persevered. Some old workings going up there. A bit sketchy. Yeah. That rock is probably wedged. These timbers can't be holding that. No, they've all wedged and they've got a coating of mineral all over them as well. Station mark up there. Oh yeah. So all of a sudden the load is getting better. Look at it here. Yeah. Some malachite. And they went down. They did. Yeah, this is more like it. This is where the load gets a bit more promising. More interesting. Yeah. You can see it in the spoil. Yes. Lots more minerals in that stuff. This beautiful copper here. Oh, lovely. There and there's the load. There it goes. So all of that green stuff there, that's copper sulfate, or se a secondary mineralization of copper, the ore being malachite. That's what the miners were actually after. Malachite and some charcoal pyrite as well. Both of ores are of copper and also lead ore as well. That would have been the main produce of the mine throughout. Lots of minerals on the floor up here. A big looking stove. Huge. Huge stove. Wow. And wow. And there's a the wheelbarrow. So look at that. That's a proper wheelbarrow. So that's the same as the one we've seen earlier. Is it? Yes, it exactly is. Exactly the same design, but this one is just in much better condition. 
So this would be 1830s, 1840s perhaps. Uh, classic design, very narrow at the bottom, opening out with an iron or a metal tyre rather than a rubber one. So it's, a type, uh, it's a type called the soft barrow in Derbyshire. Yeah, because a soft is a Derbyshire tame for a level. So nice and narrow to fit up and down the levels. Lovely, isn't it? Very cool. Very cool. Oh, look at that claps. Oh, yeah, that looks quite fresh, actually, doesn't it? It is. <laughs> it's all come through that little small hole. Yeah. I wonder what's above there, then. Above there is a shaft of surface. That's the old Carriston shaft. Look at that for a load. <laughs> Crikey, that's a big load. Yeah. There's a, there's a chisel up there. Oh, yeah, there is, isn't there? Yeah. Crikey, they yeah, worked very, this, didn't they? They worked yeah. this. An old ladder. Old ladder yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Partially buried in the collapse. They've had a go in here, look. Oh, yeah. It's almost like slate like mine. It yeah, is, isn't level. it? Yeah. Nothing in there, look at it, completely nothing. Load here, huge load here, and absolutely out of it. zilch. <laughs> yeah, just like that, they're out of it. Very interesting. Yeah. Sometimes we find wheelbarrows with solid disc wheels, don't we? But this one's quite unusual with this spoked design. Usually we just see a single piece of wood, single disc. That's a bunch of copper right there. That's amazing, isn't it? That's what I call a load. <laughs> In this piece of rock that's just fallen off the ceiling. We've got charcoal pyrite, the golden color stuff there, that's charcoal pyrite. The green is malachite, and there's even some lead ore here as well. Argentiferous galena right there. Nice chunk of load stuff. It's very um, brecciated, isn't it? These bits of country rock kind of smashed up in the cemented quartz. It's almost like someone's mixed it together. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. Huge big lumps of it that have fallen off the ceiling. So once they found all this, obviously they've carried the level on. And there it goes. Yeah, to, they? yeah. a lot bigger now, so we're probably into the 19th century by this and point. This is where the tracks were, I can see. Ah, that explains it. Okay. So the tracks took the stuff to the main engine shaft over there. And it was winched up to the surface, hence why they didn't have to put the rails all the way out through the entrance. That makes sense. That makes sense. Two beautiful tallow candles. Oh, yeah. They're very well preserved. This they? one is spot on. Isn't but she is that a finger mark there? And as I'll said, one last tallow candle. So the miners have cut into quite a significant load right here, but it's pretty much barren, isn't it? It's a serious load, all this water coming through. You can see all the smashed up rocks, but there's nothing particularly promising in it. poked down in the gaps. Yeah, the they have, haven't they? They've had a little bit of a look, yeah. but there's nothing really here worth extracting, so they've just abandoned it there. Interesting, nonetheless, they actually did find something. Oh yeah, they're everywhere, these tallow candles in here. No, there's two of them together. I don't know. It's got three holes here, possibly holding a piece of wood. Huh? Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. A scrape. Never seen anything like it. I thought it was a broken pipe. The same, that but that fixing on the side of it though, yeah. It's not a lid or something, is it? No. For what? I'm going for a shovel. If anyone has any ideas, it. let us know in the comments. Yeah, please do. We're talking mid to late 19th century probably, maybe early 20th. So if you have any ideas, let us know. An amazing pack wall. It is beautiful, isn't it? Very long. Even though the level does go on, we will go there, but I think we're getting a bit tired now. We've both come from work today, so we're going to call it a night here this time, and we'll come back and carry on exploring next time. There's a lot more that this mine has to offer. So, once again, hope you enjoyed the iPlayer, our episode on iPlayer. 
Uh, if you haven't watched it yet, then go and watch it. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you again soon, and we'll carry on exploring more of the mines in the area. Until then, ciao for now. All the best. <laughs>